Hi, I'm Evan with MaxAmps.com and welcome to another Max Amps Minute. Today we're going to be talking about the Hyperion Super Duo Charger, the 720i. Um, this is a DC based charger, so if you do not have a power supply, you will need to order one at MaxAmps.com. You can either go for a 12 volt or a 24 volt, but the 24 volt will give you the full capability out of this charger. Let's go ahead and hook up the charger to the power supply. So the red goes into the red 4mm bullet, and of course the black goes into the black. Now we're going to plug in the accessories. Start with the charge leads. Red goes to red. Black goes to black. And you're going to mirror that on the opposite side. And now let's plug in the balancing taps. We're going to focus on the JSTXH style of balancing taps. So you're going to take the smaller end of the multi adapter extender, plug that directly into the top of each of the balancing boards, like so. And then you're going to plug the larger end into the balancing slot at the base of the charger. Now that we have everything plugged into our charger, Let's go ahead and plug in our battery packs. Today we're going to be using the MaxAmp 6500 11.1 volt 150C rated battery packs. So we're just going to go ahead and plug in the main leads. And then we're going to plug in the balancing tap to the 3S slot on the balancing board, which is the second slot down. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Always make sure that the red is going to the red and the black is going to the black when you're plugging it in. Very important to do so. And then plug in the balancing tap. And now that we have everything plugged in, let's go ahead and start the setup process on the charger. Okay. So before we start setting up memory number one, we're going to go to user setup. In order to do that, press the mode button three times and it should take you to the user setup screen. Uh, there's a lot of different options that you can change in there. Those are personal preferences. Not really going to go through all of those, but there is one single one that I want to make sure that we change, and that is the LiPo Max C. Uh, as you can see, it comes stocks at a 2C charge rate, but like I said, all of ours are capable of a 5C. So we're going to go ahead and tap the enter button, boost it up to 5, and then once that is set to 5C, we're going to tap that mode button twice. I'll take us back to our memory number. This has a capability of setting up 20 different memory numbers, but today we're gonna to be focusing on memory number one. So once we have it on memory number one on the screen, what we're gonna go ahead and do is you press down and it'll switch it over to battery type LiPo. Now to change any of these options, it's really simple. All you have to do is tap the enter button. The option that can change will start to flash. Once it starts flashing, you just press up or down. It has all the options for you. And of course, what we're gonna be working with today is the LiPo style. So once it says battery type LiPo on the screen, we're gonna press down again. Next option is the battery volts option. This is an 11.1 volt battery pack. So we're gonna tap that enter button, press up once. It's gonna switch it to 11.1 volts, which is 3S. And then you can tap the enter button again, or you can just wait five seconds and it will stop the process itself. Once that's done, you're gonna tap the down button again and it'll switch it over to battery capacity. Battery capacity comes stocks out of 1000 milliamps. What we're going to go ahead and do is tap the enter button. 1000 milliamp will start to flash. You can either continually press the up button or hold it down until you reach 6500 mAh. Next setting, we have battery charge current. This is why we changed the 2C to 5C, uh, otherwise, it would limit the charge current that we can set it to. So, we're going to tap the enter button. We're going to boost that all the way up to 20 amps. If we hadn't made that change, it would max us out at 13. So now that we have that set for 20 amps, tap the enter button, press down again, temperature cutoff. Uh, this only works with a Hyperion temperature sensor. Since this charger does not come stock with one, we're gonna go ahead and leave that out for right now. Next option, safety timer. We're gonna set that to 120 minutes. There's a couple of the reasons that we're doing that. One for discharging purposes. Now discharging a battery pack on a charger can take some time, especially when you're doing it at a 1C discharge rate. This is gonna allow you to discharge the full capacity out of the battery pack when the battery pack is fully charged. Other reason that we do that is if the battery pack is functioning fine, it should never take that long to do any of these processes. Next, TCS capacity. TCS capacity is a trickle charge system. It allows it to go up to 100% of the available capacity that's inside of the battery pack. 
So we're going to go, want to go ahead and leave that one the same. TCS and action continue. That will allow the trickle charge setup to actually continue. So we're going to go ahead and keep that in as well. TVC equals your risk. This is an option that we never recommend changing. Um, if you boost it up past 4.2 volts per cell, you do run a higher risk of not only damaging the battery pack, but you can damage the charger as well. You will also avoid the warranty of the Hyperion line of chargers if you go above 4.2 volts per cell. So we recommend to leave that right where it's at. Next, discharge amps. When discharging a battery pack on a charger, it's recommended to only do it at a 1C discharge rate. The highest this charger is capable of discharging at is at 5 amps. So we're going to go ahead and keep it right at that 5 because we're not exceeding a 1C. Next, discharge volts. Comes stock set at 3.8 volts per cell. Um, you're not going to get a full discharge out of the battery pack if you leave it stock set at 3.8 volts per cell. It's really recommended to bring it down all the way to 3.0. Obviously, that's not something you're going to want to do on your ESC, but when discharging on the charger, it's completely fine because as soon as that first cell hits 3.0, the process ends. Next option, set storage TCS at 60%. That's the stock. When putting the battery pack on storage, you're going to want to store it at a 60 to 70% battery capacity. Um, leaving it at 60% is completely fine. A lot of people like to put it up to 70%. This will allow you to get back on the track faster when it comes to recharging your battery packs after storage. Memory number one is now completely set up. So what we're going to go ahead and do is to hold down the enter button. First option, charge start solo mode. That's to charge the battery pack. Pretty self-explanatory on that one. Next, store start. When you are done using your battery packs for the day, you're going to want to make sure you put them on the storage setting. This is going to be the proper place to store the battery pack when it's not in use. Next, discharge start solo mode, which obviously discharges the battery pack. And probably the most important option available that we have for this charger is the cycle start. When you are not using the battery packs once a month, you're going to want to put a cycle on them, which is a complete charge, then a complete discharge of the battery pack, and then returning them back to the storage voltage with using this mode there. Since we're going to be focusing on charging the battery packs, let's go ahead and press up once. It'll say charge start solo. Since we're charging two battery packs at once and they're the same voltage, same capacity, same capability of charge rate, we're going to press the enter button. Make sure to tap it and not hold it down, otherwise you'll start the charging process and solo mode will start to flash. If it ends up stop flashing before you can change anything, just go ahead and tap the enter button again and it will start flashing again. Next, you're gonna press down and it'll switch it to charge start sync mode. Now sync mode, what that does, it takes all the information that we just set up for channel one and transfers it over to channel two during this particular process. So now that we have it set up to charge start sync mode, all we have to do hold down the enter button, it will do a battery check, it will make sure that everything's plugged in and there's no issues with the battery pack. Three cells, three cells, that's checking both channels for you. And then we'll press the enter button again, and it will now start the charging process. Thank you very much for watching this Max Amps Minute. Again, my name is Evan. You can find all of these products on our website at www.maxamps.com where you can talk to one of our friendly live health representatives. You can also give us a call at 888 654-4450 and one of our friendly customer service reps will talk to you there and you can also click on the links below it will take you directly to these products thank you very much for watching